everybody, welcome to the trending stream here on the World Wide Web. Please, please subscribe, click, and well, hit that bell to get the latest video notifications. In other words, whenever I make a brand new video, you should be notified. And if you're not getting notified, refresh this channel multiple times a week. Again, guys, thank you for coming aboard. I want to thank all the brand new subscribers. Let's get that goal of reaching 1,000. Now, this channel, I even may change this channel's name to News Roulette because that's what I'm going to do. It's me going and seeing the news and giving you my reactions and my commentary, which can be, uh, you know, you're going to, you never know what you're going to get. So, that's the awesomeness of this channel. So here we go. Of course, I like the dailymail.com. They always got, you know, the best stories. I've been using it now for a couple years now. So here's the first one. Now, last night's show or, uh, you know, yesterday morning show, I talked about Obama's 60th birthday. Now, a New York Times reporter is ripped for saying Obama's 60th birthday bash was a low COVID risk because of the sophisticated vaccinated crowd who attended and, and all of these things, right? These people are the elite. They are they follow the, the trend of whatever the high system, the big brother says. They follow Anthony, Tony, Baloney, Fauci to the ends of the earth. Whatever he says is the gospel, but yet even Tony Baloney says wear a mask right inside outside when you tuck your kids in okay you know dr anthony fauci expressed concern of uh you know the bike rally and all these other things calling them super spreaders didn't say anything of the hundreds that gathered together in obama's martha's martha's vineyard mansion and 60th birthday because again guys again these people live in another level you know, the, they look at down on the, the, the regular people, right? They're destroying the middle class. You know, I hate to say it. These elite look at us like cockroaches, roaches, bums. And it's sad. And even this highbrow, you know, New York Time reporter don't give a dang. And of course, she's going to lick the boots of the elite. So anyway, this uh, Annie, whatever her name is, said that the President Obama's was a low event COVID. Yeah. Is that why Obama didn't want nobody to take a picture inside there? Because nobody's, you know, whatever, right? They're, no one's doing what they got to do. Uh, Carney stated, is this a Carney? It's a carnival. Carney stated she was quoting Martha's Vineyard's residents for her own story. Sure. Criticism slammed her for ignoring concerns of the fast spreading Delta variant. Last week, Obama claimed the guest list was only 500 plus. He had a scale back. I got a scale back. I got a scale back. Now it comes from Dr. Fauci, Dr. F, Tony Baloney, uh, talked about the bike rally and all these things. Again, guys, they don't care. And there was a photo, man, and, and man, they took it down. We're in the party. The, and I'll try to find the photo for you guys, maybe on The Truth Never Sleeps, uh, where there was a picture of a woman wearing a coronavirus uh, sh uh, uh, dress. And they, uh, Michael, I mean, Michelle Obama and him were smiling, guys. You can't make this stuff up. And, of course, YouTube took it down, right? But anyway, that's what it is. Uh, you know, they do whatever. They laugh at us. And all these things, here he is having a brunch. I see nobody wearing no mask there, right? Oh, they all got vaxxed. Yeah, okay. Right here, guys. Here's the photo. Guys, you cannot make this stuff up, guys. And this is why I love News Roulette. Because you never know what's going to happen here on the show. And I'm going to give you some mega rants. Here it is. Here it is. I don't know if I can scan. There it is. Look. It looks like uh, some kind of corona. I know it's hard to see here, but you can kind of see like the little dots and all these right here. I know it's hard because it's a, a crappy photo, but it kind of looked like little dots of like the, the C-19. And there you see Michael and there you see Obama. Unbelievable, guys. It's right in front of our faces. Unbelievable. So there you go. 
It is what it is. They laugh in the face of the masses. Of course, the media, the fake news, because of the fake news. You know, they push, you know, they could do no harm. The elite, the presidents, they can do absolutely no harm. Yet you are the bad guy, uh, you know, for, you know, doing whatever. But anyway, guys, hey, you... You got to do, I'm just a news reporter. I have to say that, right? You know, they ostracize and, and penalize anybody that goes against them. Even Captain America now is looking bad. He ain't wearing a mask. What the heck is wrong, right? But anyway, guys, you know my stance on it. But I want to go back to that picture real quick here. Yeah, if you really zoom in, and I know it's hard, it, it, it looks like almost like a thing there's Captain America. But anyway, guys. It's a sham. It's a scam. I can't stand it. You know, whatever. There they go dancing with the lightning boat. We know what the representation of the lightning boat, again, is the fallen one, right? All part of the system, guys. The elite. I see no mask whatsoever, yet it's pumped and pushed in every facet of the news and the good food and all these things. Well, anyway, there you go. Let's get into the next story of the news roulette of course here we go guys the big money breaking news democrats release a 3.5 trillion dollar budget guys i mean that's not million that's not billion that's 3.5 trillion dollar budget that's our tax paying money proposed that they can pass without gop support including climate Initiatives, yes, the climate initiatives, global warming. How dare you, you know, Greta? How dare you? How dare you question global warming? But yet they are, you know, putting crap in the sky, right? All these things with their little white planes and, and all that, right? The geoengineering that's going on, right? I guess they need more money to continue that, so they got to take the money there. Um, it's also they're talking about the social welfare. Uh, of course, in, in many states, I, or in California, they're giving uh, just, you know, money to people, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, it's, it's basically now socialism. That's what we're going in. You know, that's why they want to destroy the middle class, right? Uh, green cars for immigrants. So let them in as well. Give them the money, the tax, all that. And, uh, you know, immigrants and tax cuts. But leave our plans to raise and leave out the plans to raise out the debt. You see, Democrats unveiled that $3.5 trillion budget plan on Monday morning. Senator Chuck Schumer said it would restore the middle class in the 21st century, right? You know, build back better the BBB, but it looks like sixes, multiple sixes. Senator Bernie Sanders said now it's time for bold action. We know Bernie Sanders is a socialist. The resolution calls for pre-kindergartens for three and four-year-olds. It can pay, be passed without a Republican, so you don't even need a Republican to support these now, these green deals, right, and all the carbon and the carbon taxing, but admit it, any measure to raise federal debt ceiling. So there you go, guys. This is where we are at a 92 measure laid out groundwork for legislation for the decade will pour mountains of cash into their key priorities that include money for education. Don't we already got that, right? Do we pay taxes for that? But they need more, right? Again, the indoctrination centers, healthcare and environmental programs, plus tax breaks for families. Well, we'll see about that. Funded at large uh, parts of tax increases on the wealthy and corporations, which is nothing but a, another scam, right? You, 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 you got bosses, you got the corpse, and you're going to tax them. And that's just going to trickle down. So you have, uh, you know, a major corporation making a certain thing. They're going to tax them all more. Well, what do you think is going to happen to the price of the product that they're creating? Well, it's going to trickle down to the poor. It's going to trickle down to everybody. But anyway... It is what it is. They they do need to pay taxes. Many of these corporations like Be Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and all these guys don't even hardly pay taxes. Trump didn't pay any hardly no taxes as we know. So the rich do need to pay their share. But, you know, it is what it is. And another thing, you know, they say they're going to audit 
You know, oh, we're going to get the IRS and we're going to start auditing these guys. And they never do. You know, uh, Biden says, oh, we're going to do the IRS. We're going to do more. You know, we're hiring more uh, agents of tax and we're going to see. And they don't even go after the rich. They go after the poor. So the poor themselves are still going to get hit, right? Get audited and all these things, guys. It's just, it's, it's a jacked up world. And again, more and more debt, uh, giving money to whatever, right? I mean, it's a huge, huge, uh, you know, pay, you know, a huge bill that's going on here. The Democrats top lines in the budget establish universal pre-care uh, for a three and four year olds and a new child's care benefit for working families. Uh, makes community college tuition free for two years. OK, I, I, I don't have nothing. I don't have no problem with education with something that you want to do. If you want to go and learn something in college, okay, it says the largest tax credit increases uh, grants, awards, investments, and all these things. Create the first ever federal paid family and medical leave benefits. Create a clean electric electricity payment program. Hmm, that worries me there. Invest in climate, a smart agriculture, forest management investments for bankers and rural communities. Oh, you mean uh, when 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 farmers have, uh, you know, they're doing their farms and then Monsanto comes in and they have to buy the GMO, uh, you know, seeds with the pesticides in them. Yeah, you're going to push that, right? Uh, create coastal and ocean, ocean um, re resilience programs, make drought wildfire interior department investments now they do have to try to fix that there's lots of fires out there uh provide uh consumer rebates for electrification and weatherization provide uh environmental justice and climate resilient again who knows what these means but anyway guys you can go and check it out there let's get into the next one guys canada now welcomes back fully vaccinated americans right there you go i guess obama and all his people, right, all his guests can go to Canada. And you know what? When they're in Canada, Obama and Michelle Michael Obama and everybody else, your crew, stay there. Stay in Canada because you people are, are, are scum, right? Canada welcomes back fully vaccinated Americans with a negative COVID test. After 17 months of border closure. So now if you want to go uh, to Canada, uh, you can go. All the U.S. residents are required to show proof of vaccination. Of course, this is the vaccination passport that we're talking about. You're not able to leave America anymore. You're locked down. You're stuck down right here in good old USA. You know, the Mexicans can come in without uh, proof of vaccinations, right? But you ain't going to be going out. You ain't going to go to Canada. It's it's crazy, guys. We live in the twilight zone. So anyway, all U.S. residents are required to show proof, um, you know, uh, of the vaccine and, and a negative coronavirus test in the past three days. So you got to have the vaccination. Then you got to go to a doctor. They're going to stick something up your nose, right? And then you got to have that paper. And then you can go, oh, and by the way, you also need a passport. Back in the old days, in the you know 90s or whatever, I went to Canada, I just showed an ID. Now you need a passport, you need the vaccination, and you need a test. This is, this is crazy. But anyway, Canada offer officials warn that additional steps could cause delays. Lines immediately began from the border checkpoint at midnight, and some people waited up to seven hours. Nearly 60% of Canadians have been vaccinated. And the infection rate among the population is around 2.1%. In the U.S., just over half the population has been vaccinated. And the infection rate is 9.5%. The U.S. is still now allowing and non-essential travels. Okay, and so they can't come in. They really can't come in here, but we can go there. And so there's the long lines and all of that, right? Let's go on to the next story, guys. Again, News Roulette. I don't know what's going to come up. Bertie Madoff, prison. Medical records revealed he had his toes amputated before he died and was so sick with renal failure that he was hallucinating and screamed to doctor's help. I hate this effing place. As we know, 
Bertie Madoff was the guy who, who stole millions, I think, millions upon millions upon millions of dollars from investments, and he was a Ponzi scheme guy, and they finally got a hold of him, and then he went to jail. He he made so many people broke, took their life savings. This guy was complete and utter, you know, he's a monster. He was a fraud, right? Madoff is pictured in 2009 and was convicted of multiple counts of fraud and running the largest Ponzi scheme ever to, uh, you know, retirees' monies and all this stuff. Well, you know what comes around goes around, guys. The you know the the good book says, "When a man soweth, he shall reap." It is what it is, there, right? And he was a very evil guy. Uh, Taliban seizes six Afghanistan. Uh, Liz Cheney leads critical Biden catastrophe or catastrophic troops withdraw and says the country will again be a safe haven for uh, the terror. Yeah, guys, again, I, I got to be careful with these news. But this is all part of the agenda once again. Uh, divide, conquer. Many of these Afghans and all these things are part of the agenda. But yeah, pretty sad there. What else do we got here? Again, we're just going. Give you my commentary. Keeping in the know. These are trending. Chicago endures another weekend of bloodshed. As 64 people are shot. Guys, taken out in less than 72 hours. 10 fatalities include a female cop who had just returned from maternity leave. Oh my gosh, that is so, so sad. Guys, it is completely crazy in Chicago. Uh, you know, they have some of the strictest gun laws in Chicago. I've talked about Chicago before. They're, it's just a, a haven of, of just, you know, criminals, people kill. It, it's one of the worst places out there. Uh, people are trying to leave. But anyway, so sad. Ella, Ella French, 29, was fatally shot during a traffic cop stop. On Saturday, oh God bless her. So, and now there's going to be a child right now, and this breaks my heart. A child right now that will never know their mother. Wow, how sad. Prayers for her family. She had just returned from maternal leave and leaves behind a two month old. Man, that's just heartbreaking. Her male colleagues is fighting for his very life at the police. The spokesman said the pair were fired upon after a vehicle carrying two men and a woman had been pulled over in the south side of Chicago. Very bad place. Two suspects have been arrested and a we weapon was seized. Well, at least that's good. And a third is on the run. The officer is the first to be shot and, and taken out from the city, you know, killed in the city since December 2018. All three suspects in the shooting have been taken to custody. Ten people also were killed and 64 were wounded in Chicago. Guys, we need to pray for Chicago. Again, uh, the incidents include two mass shootings and two nightclubs. These nightclubs are just vessels for the enemy, man. She was a beautiful woman. God bless her, man. God bless her soul. And just so, so sad. So there you go, guys. Uh, you know, but this is what they want. They want this, this, uh, no jobs, no nothing, right? All these things. Let's go on again here. Let's see what else here. New York Times recorder. Okay. So anyway, there you go. Those are some of the top trending news. I hate to leave on a sad one. Um, but it is what it is, guys, right? Arkansas governor uh, says there's an error to sign banning mask or whatever. So he's COVID surge. So now he's apologizing and all these things. Um, AOC rules out challenging uh, Senator Chuck Schumer uh, for New York seat. Right? They're all shams. They're all scams. We live in the rigged reality. All these things. Uh, so anyway, guys, there you go. This has been. Oh, here's Como. Yeah, uh, the 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 what uh, the monster as well. I mean, this guy's just a monster and a half. <laughs> he needs to go, right? He needs to be kicked out, go to jail, whatever. I don't know. I'm not the jury. I'm just reporting on the story. So there it is, guys. Uh, here you go. One more thing. Neurosurgeon's wife of Microsoft exec with close ties with Epstein and Bill Gates. Um, uh, Melania, Melania or Melina Walker was bankrolled through college by the billionaires. Again, they pay these young girls off. Very attractive. Uh, Bill Gates is connected. Guys, again, we live in the sham scam. The, you know, the, the evil ones that are ruling the roost and we truly need the most high. I hope you enjoyed this version of uh, 
hey, the news roulette, the trending topics. If you do, comment down below. Tell me what story affected you the most. Let me know how you like the new format. I will be doing more shows on my original channel, The Truth Never Sleeps, a mega Monday show. So if you're new, you can go over there and subscribe there. If you're only subscribed to this channel, I will be covering the Olympics on the Truth Never Sleep, so check it out. Love to see you there as well. Share these videos on your social media. I all have, you know, I all pray that you have a blessed day. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next.